happy Tuesday, everybody, and welcome to the Gun Show. But first, where's all of my gym stars? You see that? Gym stars. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bree Easy, aka Not So Fresh from Salon, BKA, the People's Champion. I'm holding it together. Three more days. Three more days. So, what we have for you today is what you're going to be comparing is the babies, okay? So who do you like? Do you like the peanut baby? Baby nut. Baby nut. They could have thought of something better on that, but whatever. I thought it was I thought it was cool. Yeah. Or I am Groot. That baby Groot. Baby Groot. Or the child. AKA Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. Baby and Yoda. And then if you're a hip hop fan, we got Wait, wait hold on for a second, go back. Hold Cause on. you know, like when you have a newborn, you know their hair be fuzzy just yep. like that and it look gross. Well, why he got gray hair and he and he only uh and he, he was young though? Wise, well, he 50 years but he was old. wise above his years. Yeah, he's fifty years yeah. old, so yeah. You know. or, or we got uh the little baby. Little baby. Or and the baby. The baby. So wh wh which yeah, one are you rocking with? <laughs> <laughs> or the baby. See, my hair will be like that pretty soon. And then I can That's Jay-Z's hair. Yeah. yeah. Or the baby. Who y'all rocking with this morning, man? Yeah. And also, hey, you guys are using the code, so I'm so excited. Like, if you don't even feel like signing up, like I said, you just use the code Save Now, and you can get one of these Beast Mode Activated shirts that I'm sporting here today. They are unisex. And you can also do your own uh, customized shirt. Any type of image that you would want on the shirt, Upload it and we can get that printed for you. Go to checkout and use the code SAVE NOW. Yep, upload your own image. Go on on here. Find you a little, find you a little image. Somebody asked me about uh bigger shirts. We will be putting bigger shirts up there, man. Look, just find you a little image. Boom. Put it up there. Oh, it wasn't big enough. Yeah. It's gotta be big enough. So too. our our shirt sizes would go up to um five extra large tall. I think five XLT. Yeah. Yeah, 5XLT. So that's the um, largest we can go up to. Put it on there. Put that maximum effort on there. Boom. Make it Make it small enough. Mm-hmm. Boom. We're going to center this stuff for you. You ain't got to worry about that. Then you choose the garment that is oh, going that on. Oh, that looks man. nice on that blue, though. Go yeah, back to that blue. Look, it looks nice on blue. No, that right. blue right there. Right here? Oh, yeah. That's, that's nice. It yeah, so upload nice. whatever you got, and then you, and you're good to go, man. Yep, check out, and don't forget to use the word the uh the promo code save now if you do sign up you can use the code that's in your email and save now and that will give you additional um off on we got the code. kansas city chiefs baby yoda up here man we will be putting all 32 teams up there uh for you guys man but uh we just put the kansas city chiefs up there my boy tay too sick hey tay just let me know what size your wife wear man we'll throw that in there man so, so both of y'all can have one y'all can be matching chiefs Couple goals in this motherfucker, yes! All right, but that's all I have for you guys today and over to Bay News. Hey, man, hey, check it out, man. Get out my seat, get out my seat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. I'm dressed to the nines. Do you getting the nines, but I'm dressed up today, man, because I actually got to go out and all this stuff, man. My hair, man, my hat I don't want to do right. Look at it. Like, it's, it's, it's individual and it's, it's doing its thing. But it's just like, man, I hate it. Because, like, don't y'all hate when you get in the shower and when you first get out, it's looking great. And then once you dry it off, she keeps telling me I need to get the turban towel and stuff. But, you know, I'm I'm hard-headed. So, you know, we're going to get that done. But anyway, check it out, man. First order of business today. Um, We were talking about this, man. And so this tweet is gone. But uh, let me see. Uh, This is about... LD2K and how he's not the community manager anymore. I thought that this was common knowledge, but I guess a lot of people were just now figuring this out and just finding this out because, uh, okay, so Dignify tweeted out, 2K, 2K still not adding anything to the NBA store. Not surprised, but it's literally the easiest thing to do, um, do yet they still don't. And so, you know, LD2K says, I haven't been the community manager. I'm not the community manager. And to my knowledge, they have not hired anyone else. And so that's when my boy Coyote is like, what the world you mean you that, that that you done being a community manager? He thought that he was done today. And so I stepped in and clarify. I said he's employed by 2K, hadn't been hadn't been a community manager for quite some time. I think since he left, you know, for the 2K League last year or something like that. It's a year ago or two years ago. Well, you know he had got that job with the 2K League or somewhere. He got the job with somebody else. And then I said, I, I'm I'm if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. If I am, my bad. And so he said, okay, I thought I thought you were talking about recently and then LD stepped in and said no I was with marketing for seven years 
as the community manager, I left 2K for a year and now work with Visual Concepts. It's, uh, let me see, y'all know Visual Concepts, is, 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 but it's still 2K, it's still there. Um, he said, it'll be a year in two weeks since I've returned. And I love creating content and highlighting the community with 2K TV. So pretty much all he does is work with Visual Concepts and he says, oh, thank God. So that's why every time y'all talk to LD, he's always saying, I'll pass it on and I always try to advocate for the community, but I am not the community manager. He's not the community manager any longer. That's that's just the simple, uh, the, the reality of the situation. He's no longer the community manager. He hasn't been for quite some time. And uh, like I said, when he got that, that job with the 2K League, like last year or like in 2000, like a year and a half ago, whenever he got it, he hadn't been it since then. So 2K has not had a community manager since then. I'm not gonna sit here and act like, you know, so so now everybody else has had to step up. Ronnie got to step up. Doggone, um, Mike Wong had to step up. All these guys got to step up and be and fill the void that uh, LD2K left. But LD2K is, is like one of them guys where it's like they probably told him, "Hey, you can come back and you can do this job right here." But we're not. They're not gonna um like yeah, we're not gonna pay you to do two jobs. Y'all know how it is. Like when somebody quit a job, it's your job, and they say, "Hey, bro, uh, we need you to do you know you know what I'm talking about. We need you to do their job." And then like somebody quit, like somebody quits a job and then they come back and be like, we're not hiring anybody else. And so you already know what that means. I'm gonna have to do that job with no extra pay. And so, hey, I'm pretty sure there's some situation like that. He came back, he said he was visual concepts and they're like, yeah, we're not gonna hire a community manager because we don't feel like we need one. All you guys collectively can be the community managers and do like that. And um, you know, I suppose that's how it is. And this is only speculation. This is nothing now. This is allegedly, but uh, you know, we ain't blind. We can put two and we can put two and four together and get five and realize that something ain't right. So y'all know how it is, man. People love to do that. Jobs love to do that. Corporations love to do that. And like I said, I ain't one of them guys that's gonna sit here and advocate for the game and and, and tell you that this, this is cool. This ain't cool. You need a community manager. You need somebody that's in touch with the community. Somebody should have been able to go to the, somebody that can go to those guys on our behalf and say, hey, this is what the community wants. They got their ear to the street. And, and you know what I'm saying? And, and they can and they can really help get our agenda pushed. We ain't talking about garbage ass people that's talking about you can't shoot the ball no more or that the behind the back was the end all be all because that was the only move they had. We're not talking about those guys. We're not talking about people that saying that nobody can ISO this year and that, and that, and that you know, nobody can shoot consistently and that there's no moves in the game and it's just this and that. We're not talking about all that. What we're talking about is the people who actually play the game on a daily basis have good knowledge of the game they know the game and they're actually pretty decent at it and then you listen to those people because if you don't if you listen to the people that are just crying about shooting dribbling and all of that stuff inevitably what we're going to end up with is a situation like we had at the beginning of the year where people were crying about layups and now you can make a layup 100 percent contested late and it's still gonna go in sometimes. That's why you have to listen to the people that actually play the game at a little high, at a decent level, and 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 actually do good. Boy, these guns is coming. You talking about welcome to the gun show? Damn! I say damn. Look at her looking at that. Yeah. Anyway, man. But like I said, though, we do need a community manager. We need somebody that can go to 2K on our behalf, and LD's already doing that. So they probably like we don't see a reason to do that because we can read and we can read Twitter and all that. Hopefully something happens. Hopefully something changes. Hey, I throw my name in the hat. I take all the beef. I take all the stuff, man. I take it on the chin. But I'm going to let y'all know, hey, it ain't but so much we can do, man. It's a video game. Plus, what do y'all think going to happen with the next gen, man? I, I really want to know that. Anyway, up next, man, we got Power DF. This is a huge discussion, so I wanted to make a poll. Would you rather Park be all matchmaking like events, or do you think that Park should stay as it is, walk around, open area, open world, or what have you? Or or do you even or or, or even doing both explain why? And so some people are saying matchmaking mark park, some saying uh arena style park. I'm gonna say both. And most people are saying both. Look, if you wanna get games back to back to back to back to back, you should be able to do that. Um and if you want to just have an open world experience and run around, because I feel like that's something that you can't really take out of the game. Once you introduce something like that into the game, taking it out, you're taking a step backwards, right? So I think the open world style park is really good. But at the same time, you know, you want to do the 3v3 matchmaking, but you don't want to play sweats every single game. And so that's where you get a break point, right? I feel like, um, uh, let me see. Why do y'all want skill-based matchmaking? Uh, I mean, matchmaking out on insert. Uh, 
I don't understand is what he was saying. Like, nobody cares about skill-based matchmaking. Matchmaking and skill-based matchmaking are two different things. What they need to do is just have regular matchmaking where they take, they find three people and they find another three people just like they had back in, um, um, what was it called? Crew in 14 or what have you? Like, that's, a, a yeah, was it Crew in 14 or was it in 13? Y'all let me know down in the comment section, man. But look, that's what they need to do. They could go back to that. You just, hey, you get three, you get three, and then we hit it. And if we want to play y'all again, we can go, we can go to, uh, we can go to Asia and we can play it. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, put your times on, put your times on in uh in Japan and let's get it. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want skill-based matchmaking. I don't think skill-based matchmaking is something that really works with 2K. Um, because I'm gonna be quite honest with you. Nobody in 2K wants to play a tough game. Nobody don't want to play sweats. And I'm not talking about me or or whatever. I could play competition, I could play not competition. I turn up for competition. I would sit there and loaf all day long. You'll be like, Jay, the worst player in the world. This dude ain't even that good. Competition, come on. The, the, the switch flips. I don't miss a shot. Nobody can score on me. All types of stuff like that. So that's that's how I am. Like when a game ain't too serious, like when we play Rick with T Mills and them, bro, I'm just out there bullshitting around. But then y'all saw last night that I shot 100% from three and had like 36 points in the first half. So, you know, it is what it is, man. I mean, I can get buckets out of this motherfucker. Y'all gonna see that in a video that I'm gonna put up later on today. Um, like the video. As soon as the video get to 500 likes, I'm gonna show y'all me getting busy with my two-way, well, I mean, with my 3 and D guard as the lead guard. I think I scored like 29 points over two games and shot 100% from the field and shot like nine for nine from three or 10 for nine, 10, 10 for 10 from three, something like that. Nine for nine from three, maybe. I don't know, man. Look, I be killing, but I just don't put that stuff up, though, because the other stuff is more entertaining. Maybe I should put up the videos and be killing. Maybe I should make me a playmaker slash the slash the playmaker and just get butt-ass naked like everybody else, man. Maybe that's what I should do. I don't know. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I don't care about skill-based matchmaking. People run so much now that if they realize that they're skill-based matchmaking in that, they're not going to play it. So just do regular matchmaking and uh just so we can get games back to back. So you can go into you can go into the arena or you can go into the uh open world, man. It, it is what it is. I think they should do both. I think that this is what they should do. Get rid of the damn cages and make a regular matchmaking where you just play whoever. It don't matter. You you play sweats one game, regular do, do it like direct. Regular matchmaking like direct. So it doesn't matter who you play because even bad people want to play worse people sometimes. Me I want to beat the hell out of scrubs every day of the week. I ain't trying to play no sweaty ass games. I ain't trying to play no competition. I go to work all day, work hard, come home. I ain't the last thing I want to do is sweat on the video game. I sweat in the gym in this bitch. Look at that. When you put in this much work, I get up at seven o'clock in the morning every day. Me and Bridget take the little boy to school. She get him ready. I really don't do shit. I still be sleep. And then we get in the car and I sleep until we get to school. He get out. I put him out, give my little boy a kiss. We hit the gym, come back home. We work all day. Then we go back to the gym. And then you think after that I want to get on this motherfucker and sweat and play sweat game after sweat game? No. Nobody wants that. And so that's why people just, that's what I'm saying. That's why they should not make matchmaking be, you know, um, it, hey, you should have the option for skill-based matchmaking, but like regular matchmaking. I think that like when, when Rat saw, um, uh, I guess this ain't Rat. Uh, this is somebody else. This is somebody masquerading as Rat. But look, if you, skill-based matchmaking, nobody wants that. Yeah. Just take out skill-based matchmaking, pretty much. That's what we want. We just want to play regular people. I want to have a regular game, regular game, regular game, just like the park. You get about five or six regular games, then you take a sweat game, beat the fuck out of them because they trash, and then you keep on moving. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Which one would y'all rather? I think we should have both get rid of the fucking cages because that's when the park start dying because all the scrub, the scrubby McDo wops go there and play. And then, you know, let's just do this like this, man. And uh, last but not least, man, hey, we got my boy Red City, Red City, man, with this right there. Have you ever seen this unknown bill with zero, bro? He said, hey, Constant said, my dog, OG Constant, shout out to OG Constant, man. He said, hey, that happened to me, guys. We, um, well, I mean, let me see. That happened to me. My guys were still there. Hit up customer support, and uh, they can help you get it restored or what have you. But A said, all right, good looks. Appreciate it. Bro, what? LMAO never had a uh, zero overall. I don't even think you, you can't even get zero overall. You start at 60. You know what I'm talking about? So that's crazy right there. The Red City boy um, ended up with that, man. That's 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 nuts. But y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think, man. Like I said, hey, do we need a community manager? Number one. And then number two, do you want park, park or do you want regular matchmaking? I will tell you sometimes you do want matchmaking because when you get that double rep for two hours, you ain't trying to be sitting there 
running around and running and with people running from you. I mean, at least matchmaking will make it so people can run from you. And even if they did, you still get the game. But you shouldn't have to create a team, get three, and then do all that to access the matchmaking. You should be able to, I should be able to go into a matchmaking as a random and hey, maybe it gives me, and it should just know, hey, guard, small forward or guard and a center. They should be able to do that. So a, every team got to get a center or a power forward and then a guard and a small forward or whatever like that. You know what you're getting into when you go into that matchmaking or you go in there as three, as a three stack. Or if me and T Mizzle go in there, they should give us a center every time. And then we should be good like that. Like the they should be. We have technology that can do this stuff, man. We got intelligent technology. We got stuff that can that can fa recognize your face. I think that we should, and that's on your telephone. It can read your fingerprint on your telephone. So I think a billion dollar company can figure out how to program a simple a simple get statement that says, uh, you know, make make uh make guards be an integer of one, and then. Let me say int, int guard g equals one, whatever, 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 and then small four equals two, and then the other one equals three, and that you gotta have that um position one, you gotta have it like you gotta have a three, which is a, a power four or a small four, I mean a, a power four or a big uh, a center, and then you gotta have two ones, uh, two ones or, or a one and a two, but make sure that you can't you can't even you don't don't match make without a three. You see what I'm saying? They should be able to do that, man. And then never more than one three, which is never more than one center, unless you come in there like that. They should be able to really do that, man. And, and that, that's that's really easy. That's that's a really that's a really easy query statement to set up. My boy binary state of mind probably laughing at me because I'm wrong as hell, but I'm kind of right because I kind of know what I'm doing. I used to program in Java, okay? Damn. Anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Uh, do we need a community manager? Do we need skill-based matchmaking? I mean, do we need regular matchmaking? Or do you want to have both? And do we need to get rid of them damn cages so we can have more scrubs to whoop ass, whoop their ass? Y'all let me know down in the comments. And have y'all ever seen that right there? That one? I don't know, man. But look, like I said, man, Baby Yoda, Baby Groot, Baby Peanut, or Baby Nut, Lil Baby, or the Baby. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Until next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Gosh, speak!